What's up, fight fans? Greetings from the Wrestleverse. This is Lady J, and it's time to take it to the ring. Here are the headlines for your fight news. Braun Strowman sighting. WrestleCon 2022. Pro Wrestling Rock Musical. Updates. Pixar Pro Wrestling Fun. So, the Sportster reported that the former monster among men, Braun Strowman, now known as Adam Schur, has finally returned to the ring. The Monster Among Men made his return to in-ring competition last night at the GLCW Blizzard Brawl event at Waukesha, Wisconsin. He teamed up with fellow WWE releasee EC3 against Impact Wrestling's Jake Something and Rowit Waju. These guys put on a great show and they also took part in a meet and greet with all the proceeds going towards the victims of the Waukesha Christmas Parade tragedy. There's a special place in heaven for people like this. Wisconsin, he said, is going to be my forever home. And when he goes home, they treat him like Adam, not a pro wrestler. And so he felt like it was an opportunity to shine some positive light in a very negative situation. And he was like, I just love seeing the community coming together for something positive. All right, so the guys were bringing some holiday cheer and hopefully bringing some smiles back because that community has gone through a really hard time. Other notable names that also took part in that show include Val Venice, Serena Deeb, ODB, and the guys of the Gun Club. Nice job, you guys. WrestleCon 2022 just announced that they will be in Dallas, Texas during WrestleMania week. So WrestleMania is Sunday, April 3rd at the AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. There will be an entire week's worth of wrestling events going on as well. I tried to look, there's like over 20 events, like day from day, right? <laughs> from the morning to night but so wrestlecon so far they have confirmed barber brutus beefcake and they're expecting many more to come and they're also doing a wrestlecon super fan package that will be like completely inclusive for all four sessions and their three shows and early bird access for shows photo ops and bus rides to mania it's gonna be awesome all right guys we gotta keep it fun here Pro Wrestling Promoter teams up with producer for Pro Wrestling Rock Musical The Last Match. The Last Match tells the story of wrestling legend and current world champion Ben Vengeance coming to the end of the Hall of Fame career. Vengeance has recently become plagued with mounting serious life-threatening injuries. So with the urging of his doctors and his pro wrestling wife, he is preparing for the last match on the biggest night of the year, World War III. The plan is to drop the belt and to get over the newest rising star of the company, Alexander Swagger, a third generation wrestler with a blatant disrespect of the sacred brother sisterhood known as the business. But as so often happens in the pro wrestling world, things don't always go as planned. So the audience will be transported back into the pro wrestling golden years of the late 80s and early 90s, where neon tassels and face paint rule supreme. The 90 minute show plays out like a classic wrestling pay-per-view, but with a twist, explains James. The twist being the audience seen through with the magic of the theater, the real, behind the scenes drama and politics that pro wrestling at times has been known for. All right, so this musical, The Last Match, will launch as a concert presentation in the spring of 2022 with the hope of launching a national tour across the United States and Canada in the spring of 2023. All right, let's do our updates. PW Insider has confirmed that Maurice, yes, Ms. and Maurice, She's already been signed up with the company, but she's back officially on Monday Night Raw going, to, going forward and will be appearing regularly for the company. WWE Jeff Hardy was not at the live event in Corpus Christi, Texas, and word has it that he was sent home. WWE Hall of Famer 
and all-time great Jerry, the King Lawler, has signed a new deal with the WWE. Now this is a good one. Johnny Gargano will tell fans everything on what might be his final NXT appearance this Tuesday. So as of War Games, Gargano had not signed a new deal, and he's further hinted that his run on NXT is over via a social media post that reads, hell of a run, thank you all. All right, this one's kind of fun. I just discovered it. Nona on Disney Plus is a Pixar short about a grandmother who wants to spend her day off by shutting off the world, watching her favorite show, EWW, Smashdown Wrestling. But she has to watch her granddaughter. It's a super cute little cartoon all about the love of professional wrestling. All right, that's it for your fight news. Take a moment to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. For more WrestleCat videos, click the link below. Until next time, I'm Lady J, and keep it lucha.